What's up guys, how you guys doing today, man? You guys are doing good? That's good to hear, man. Well, in this video, I was, I'm gonna go through a back and chest workout. If you, I'm gonna show you guys what I do normally on a chest and back workout day. I'm gonna show you guys the exercise I use, um, the type of sets, amount of reps and sets I do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I want to give a, before starting this video, I, I want to give a special shout out to all you guys that watched my last video. I really appreciate you guys for watching my last video. And even even if you didn't like it, like even if you just checked it out, like I really appreciate that because hopefully you learned something from that video. I know it was my first video, so it wasn't really that good. But I still want to thank you guys. And in the last year, I just want to give a special shout out to Jay, man. Jay is my photographer. He's the person that recorded my last two videos. And man... I just want to say thank you, man. Without further ado, let's get to the video, man. Let's get it. Later, man. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? It's your boy, Carl, man. Coming with a back and chest workout. And this exercise, to start off my workout, I usually start off with um, pull-ups. As you can see, I'm doing pull-ups right now. And when you're doing pull-ups, make sure you're using your, your lats to pull up and not too much of your arms. A lot of people make the mistake of using their arms and biceps to pull up. You you use your biceps, but just make sure you don't use too much of it. You're using your lats to pull up. Um, I normally do four sets, four sets to six to eight reps with pull up. And the next exercise, this is called the, the lat pull down. And when you're doing this exercise, the main thing, main thing you gotta make sure you're doing is you're using your laps make sure you put it in a weight which is which you're comfortable with where you're not using your, your lower back too much you're not leaning back too much as you can see i'm not leaning back too much i'm using my my lats to pull down the weight and when you're done this exercise you should be you should be feeling it on your lats you should feel like your wide is getting your back is getting wider this is a great exercise if you wanna if you wanna have a wider back. And this exercise I did it for four sets from eight to ten reps. And all my workouts, basically all my exercises, I try to do at least four, three to four, three to four sets of them. And this exercise, moving on to the next exercise, this is called the bent over roll. This is a good exercise for your upper back if you want to have, if you're, if you're a man and you want to get mass. Even for women too. Women, this is a great exercise. I know a lot of women come to me and say, what exercise to do to define my back. This is a great exercise to do if you want to have definition on your back. As you can see, you, you bent over, keep your chest up, and just pull the bar using your back. And this exercise, I did it for uh, four sets, four or five sets, and I did it for around eight to ten. And the way I work out, I, I like to do a lot of a lot of sets and reps because because I'm a bodybuilder. I don't I don't focus too much on strength. I just make sure I'm just worried about looking good, and that's the most important to me. And this exercise is called the uh, back extensions. When you're doing this, make sure you don't go too fast. Make sure you go slow to fill it on your back and in, in your lower back. This is a nice lower back workout for you to do for other girls out there. And guys, too, this is a great exercise. If you're not, you don't, if you don't feel like doing deadlift, this is a great exercise to do. And moving on to chest, this is a hammer strength uh, bench press, chest press. This is a, this is I was. That was my warm up. This is my working set. And after this, while doing this, I thought it was too light. So after that, I just put on more weights on it. And doing this, I did four sets of this. And around eight to ten reps to feel the burn to get the pump. Me, if I if I if I do less than three sets. I don't feel like I worked out when I do four or five, maybe maybe six sets, I get the pump. But if you're a beginner, three reps is good enough for you. And after that, I moved on to dumbbell incline press. And I don't really, 
I don't really do flat bench press because the main thing main thing I want to improve in my physique is my upper chest. So I, I do a lot of incline incline chest press exercises as you see you see in this workout. In this workout, I did around I did four or five, four four sets of eight to ten. I warmed up. I uh, trying to warm up with the 70s, then I moved on to the 80s. And you see, like my my chest is not very strong. Like I said, I don't focus on strength. I focus on getting a getting a pump and getting bigger. This that's my that's not num that's my number one goal. And after this exercise, I moved on to incline bench press. Like I said before, I. I mainly right now I mainly focus on my upper chest. I want my upper chest to get bigger. And that's the thing about your about a, being a bodybuilder. As a bodybuilder you gotta recognize Whoa. Like I said man, see this chest pump right here? When you go to the gym, you go hard, this is the results you get. Look at work on back to you, look at the back. See that? See it? See a chest pump? Let's go. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing, bro? Like you said, this is a physique update. Show you guys. I'm 205. I'm currently staying at 205 right now.